We're back. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Well, me and Drake are. Drake and I. Let me be correct. In my use of language. My use of the oh, words. No, Drake just. Drake just left the the computer. He decided he wasn't back. He's like, oh no, those weirdos. Anyway, this is where Grim brings Jeb back as like some sort of eight arm monstrosity armed with eight guns. Uh, Wait, shut actually, up! actually, I didn't say anything. Barb, you didn't hear anything. Yeah, you guys the same have... team. I mean, he's been given a kind of a cranial canoe here. I mean, he's been shot in the head <clears throat> twice. He's laying here at your feet. What are you guys going to do with this guy? The crowd finally oh. settles down and everybody realizes there's been a killing going on and everybody kind of leaves. And are we uh, out of initiative and the tokens are unlocked? You are out of initiative and the tokens are now unlocked. Timmons is going to uh, go over and put some handcuffs on his body. You got me. You got me, Zucker. Nice. Thank you, Ingorgio. Uh... Good idea there, Timmons. Yeah, I can shut some things down now. I, yeah, I, I heard that you... That I remember he once told me that creatures like him need to be shot the head. We should shoot him again just in case and maybe buried him in some kind of <laughs> hollow ground. Like maybe the building with the cross guy. Well, we need to do uh, Albert a favor here and, and just get him out of here before we go blasting his skull all over oh, the floorboards in here. Also, is it me or is there a mysterious cloud all around us right now? He, I don't know what that is, but for some reason it's I can dark. see in it. I, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, are you gonna drop the darkness, the obscurity? Uh, once we're done doing what we need to do with the body. Oh, so you're gonna keep it dark over. around us? Yeah. So what are you gonna do? It just seemed like a smart way to deal with. Well, Timmons is gonna to... like unarm him. And uh, take his deck of cards away, hand it all to and maybe Doc. His gun. Unarm, yeah, not un, not armed. Uh, take his weapons away. I mean, Timmy's like, you making fun of my speech impediment again? No, no, I just know that you have someone's finger in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but just making sure you're know, not removing his I don't, arm. I don't, I don't need Dave's arms. That's what you. Maybe they will clap when you have a good idea. Oh, Joey. I think we take him. In, I think we take him down to the to the master's office. And Bell, and Bell's out there. Thank you. Discuss. Yes. Thank you for coming I'll by. Discuss. Do we have people? Are yes, the, we are can. The cooks taking off yet? Well, we. Lunch, okay. I, I don't see a problem with taking him through the kitchen since he ain't driven blood nowhere. Well, you go dragging this guy through the kitchen. The 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 cooks kind of you know backed up in the corner over here. Both of them. Oh, if they're still there, I'm just gonna drop another globe of darkness right in the kitchen so they don't see us. Okay. Well, we, we are we are doing it lawfully. This guy was the just, sheriff yesterday. He's got to weigh ninety pounds. Timmons picks him up. And can we make sure the shoulder. cooks don't burn themselves when they're flailing in pitch darkness all of a sudden? Don't don't burn that omelet. You gotta flip it. You gotta flip it. Joey. <laughs> yeah, I think Luke well, probably I appreciate already dragged it, Joey. him out back. Yes. We can take him to Alonzo. He knows the the guy with the funny shirt on. Yeah, so we... Yeah, the we guy go. with the funny... But, what? The priest caller. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. The guy with the funny shirt. Who has an extra collar of some sort. And then I'll drop we can't. As soon as we get out the building. We can't uh, drag the token, but... Alright, so... Tim is just carrying Jeb's carcass. Is it a carcass now? Uh, pretty much, yeah. And there is definitely a rotting. He's not dragging smell. it. He throws it. Throws him over his shoulder. Oh no! Like, Luke, Luke, Luke sorry, no. He grabbed his ankle and. Dude, I thought you were out. out completely. I didn't know you were still in the guard. I, I think he did that while y'all were talking uh, about what what y'all need to do. 
All right, so you guys drag him out here, uh, darkness in there. You hear the cooks go, oh, Jesus, it's dark in here. And uh, you drag uh, Hexman out, so let me drag his uh, come. Shift is your friend. We're, we're going down to the marshal's office with him. I mean, we're not drag. I don't know if that's what Luke wants to do. Timmy's like, I can cam if you don't want to drag him all the way down there. It's the least he deserves. Being dragged, I mean, through town. It just, it just attracts a lot of attention when you're dragging a body down the middle of the road. Did I miss something, Doc Fong? Yeah, Timmons told the cook to flip the omelet. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I didn't even hear it. I was talking to Joey over here. Joey and Bill came. Oh, in, in, in the darkness, as he said, be careful, you have to flip the omelet. So I, I guess Albert stays behind to kind of see that his bar's cleaned up while these guys drag Jeb. Sorry Jeb. for inconveniencing you for 12 seconds. Are you going to sit down and have a drink? And, and like, finally, I can now drink him. No, he can't. Now, just to be clear, he stinks to high heaven all of a sudden. I mean, like, like somebody who's a dead been body, dead for five months. Yeah. Yeah, Luke, that's a good idea. You dragging through town by his feet. Spirit, <laughs> oh. not to... spirit, is it spirit or vigor? Uh, prevent throwing up. Yeah. I'd say that's a bigger. Tim is like, yeah, you fail. Let my pipe to try to cover the pipe smoke. I I can't I can't carry him now. I don't feel so good. I think that's is that is that lung? Throw up a bit in my mouth. You guys got him back here behind Albert's bar. I mean, you at least got him through the kitchen. They're gonna have to fumigate the place now. But no, between inside and here, I mean, just this reek came on. It was just almost supernatural. Huh. Imagine that. I bet they need to get some sort of fan. They probably need well, well, I, well, Otherwise, I it's gonna settle into appreciate the it, Joey. Tim is very much. I can Ew. cut up the smell. I, yeah, I, I'm I, an I, army brat. Know, wait, so, just give me some bees and I take care of uh, COVID enough. But taught proper respect a long time ago. Hey, Brad, I should play uh, Spill the Beans. Yeah. One ain't better than the other, though. I guarantee you that. What are you going to do with him? Albert cries. He He's really upset about back. the smell of his... Of his is, there a, is there a uh, graveyard or I believe mortuary or some sort? There is. Let's, there's, uh, there's one at the cemetery. There's a cemetery at the church associated with Reverend Grimm. I believe so. Is there a wheelbarrow? Can we get a wheelbarrow? You know what? There's a I'll have you know by chance that uh, behind Albert's bar, they always stock wheelbarrows because Jeb kept having drinking contests with people and they had to wheel them home. All right, what do you So playing? there's a wheelbarrow right here. We yeah, there should be two or three. Right there, there's one. We also use it to take people to the pigs. <laughs> Did you play across his eye? Or you I used a chip, you used a Benny. <laughs> Spend a Benny to ensure there's well, look, a supply of wheelbarrows. There's a wheelbarrow. Yeah, so there's a wheelbarrow. You're going to kind of... Who's going to pick up Jeb? I can Timmons drag can't. him over to him. I'm not sure I can pick him up. Let's see. Tim is just throwing up. Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, I had good tea this morning. There we go. <laughs> good tea and a good shit. And uh, look. He's like... He's like, oh, I have learned to take care of bodies uh, in 2050 years. You have to do one leg at a time. Bodies. <laughs> I thought those were French. I don't know what they are. Pretty sure, uh, pretty sure Doc Fong uh, practices Tai Chi. Oh, tight cheeks. Yeah. So uh, I yeah. guess we're wheelbarrowing them down to the cemetery. So uh, as we go, and Tim is like, so we gonna we gonna give him a headstone. Here's our Jeb Hicksman. This time is a charm. All right, so you Fourth wheel time. him, yes. you wheel him down past the marshal's office, and I mean, you know. Also, let's here's make the, sure he's handcuffed. So here's the, just so we're clear. Here's the Devil's Den, and <laughs> here is Main Street, and you wheel him all the way around the ref, the uh, the uh, collection 
<laughs> Can't we go down Camp Road? You ride down, right? Well, Camp Road doesn't exist anymore. They've moved all these yeah, shanties right. away, and they're they're, we're they're building that. A, they're building a big railroad terminal over there. There's construction well, all over. We have the to place. stop at the marshal's office anyway. And Don't we uh, want to stop yep. and tell Alonzo and you, have you, him do paperwork? Uh, you get the, you get there and you tell Alonzo and Alonzo starts doing the paperwork and then you guys wheel him on up and what do you do once you get up here at Grimm's uh, uh, what do they call this place uh, Church of Lost Angels the Perdition Chapel. Hey uh, Luke, why don't you go in and talk to that Father Travis guy? What Luke does is he uh, uh, wheels the corpse up next to the door, goes bang 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 on the door and just walks off. You guys gonna follow Luke? You gonna walk off behind him? Timmons is looking for a spot. He's like, this looks like a pretty good spot over here. There ain't no children buried here. Yeah, definitely make sure he's handcuffed this time so he can't take his way out. His, hand, his handcuffs are behind his back. His hands are cuffed behind his back. Maybe handcuff his feet too. I only got one yeah, pair of People can dig with their feet. You're not even gonna put him in a box. You're just gonna throw his ass in the dirt, huh? <laughs> Oh, I was going to let the priest or whomever deal with it. So, I think a good turning yeah. is our best way to go here. Buddy, I really don't want to get up. Do you think what? Yes, we can make him some sort of funeral pyre. Good burning. Good burning. Uh, the, the, the priest comes out of the chapel over here and he's like, uh, Gentlemen, what, what in the world is going on out here? I hand him a flyer. Tim is kind of goes oh shit and takes the badge off of him before he sees it he takes the off badge of jab. off and he walks up and he goes that's the marshal the deputy marshal one time he was the marshal yeah he used to be he used to be a member of the devil posse and and now with the how would the how would the how would the mayor <laughs> But we gotta bury him pretty quick, yeah. Phew. You ain't gotta know empty pine box, do you? Ready to go? Uh, let's see, how do I do that? I'm gonna play Benny to say that they do have a pine box ready to go. And Luke plays Benny, and he's got a pine box ready to go. He goes, well, I, you know, I always have to keep about three or four around this town. The way things are going, he said, this cemetery's filling up with people dying of starvation. <laughs> So, uh, Timmons is like, anybody Let's... got another pair of handcuffs? Manacles? No need, Timmons. He's dead. D-E-D -E -D dead. There's a pair on his belt right Who there says that, Luke? when he was the marshal. Yes. Timmons cocks his head and looks at Luke. <laughs> this is the third time I'm going to be burying the man. Third I time. The, I grabbed it, the cuffs, you grabbed off, the his cuffs off his belt. And the Timmons. Uh, I'll tell, uh, I'll tell Jim, what is dead men ever die? Oh, Timmons pats him down and goes, well, he might need to take these and pulls his keys out too. His handcuff keys to be more specific. Okay. That's pretty specific. So you take his handcuff keys from his... Uh, Away from him. Jailer's key ring. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Put him in a pine, leg, pine box. In his hands. Lay him face down in a pine box. Okay. You ain't get to look at the shot sure. no more. <laughs> and how deep are you going to bury him? How deep well, can we dig? How deep is it to bedrock? I, I don't know. 12 feet. <laughs> you're going to dig. To you know, water. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're probably, probably not 12 Los feet. Los Angeles? Probably not 12 feet. Tim is like, it's getting a little muddy down here. We better, we better put the box in here. The only reason I'm asking is because I'm rolling the time forward it's about 7 p.m you finally get jeb in the fucking ground and get him all covered up uh you gonna have the uh the preacher say some words or anything yes mr crossman please say some words uh i didn't really know the man well at one time he was pretty pretty nice fella actually and then, uh, and then he died, and then he came back, and then he died, and then he came back, and then he died, and then he, died, and then he, and he came, came back. back. Albert goes out, and you, you pouring one on the grave, taking your flask out and pouring it on the grave. 
Yeah. Did, Abba, well, did Albert. you know he 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 was dead. He wasn't real. He wasn't alive. That's why he could out drink you. Nah, he couldn't out drink me. I just act like he could. Oh, I understand. I think we should get him a headstone. He alive, Jed Hexman. Fifth times the charm. I like that. Fifth times the charm. Okay, sure. Why not? Gonna get him a headstone. Okay. Mark it on so this let's day. do the calculations. Before we met him, he was buried. Timmons he buried, was buried him twice. alive. We're just talking how many times he's been buried. Buried once before this would we be met him. the fourth him. time. Two times Timmons buried him. That's three times. And then H.G. Willikers buried him. That's four times. And then this the is the island. fifth time. Wait. Didn't he get buried on the island? Yeah, H.G. Oh, buried him. Right. Did H.G. bury him or did the one farmer guy bury him? All right, hold on. H.G. buried him. The first fight that... The, the first fight um, where he died, he wasn't buried. And then later on, we met, like, some sort of skeletal dinosaurs or something where he died and was buried. And he came back, and that's when uh, he met Doc Fong. Well, that's the second time. The first time he claims he was buried alive. So what are you going to put on his alive. headstone? You're going to. So that's the second time he was buried. Is when Timmons buried him. Right. And, and then, then the, the third next time... time he died was when HG put his fist through his uh, chest. Oh, so this is the fourth time then. I thought Timmons buried him twice. Well, he's been officially dead buried. He was buried alive once, which doesn't really count. He was buried as dead. Why? Dead. We're just three the times. Fifth, the fourth burial is a charm. Thrice, we ain't the claiming thrice he buried, died four the times. Thrice buried man. <laughs> Actually, we do uh, we do one for Alonzo, and we say quattro. Wait, I don't know what that many is for. And the quattro. Is it quattro? Yeah. Quattro. <laughs> Quattro, yes, quattro is a charm. It's four. <laughs> okay, so you order a, uh, a headstone, and I guess you'd get that from uh, from uh, Wasich. From the cemetery. Uh, from uh, from Hellstrom's. What's what the hell is Hellstrom? What's his place he owns? The Hellstrom's sundries or dry goods or whatever. Yeah, the. Uh, so you'd order it, made out of marble, have it sit out here. Hellstrom Industries, dry goods and sundries, store number forty-five. All right, so it's probably you know fifteen dollars, another ten dollars to have it shipped. That's pretty heavy. Probably twenty five dollars for a headstone. Yeah, that's nothing for Timmons. That's yeah, Timmons. Change. Timmons rolls out some money. He, let me give let me give you a donation too, uh, to not ever 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 unbury this man. Keep an eye on the grave, well, just I in certainly case. Certainly would hope not. He says. So I did make a note in the calendar under players. Jeb Hexman murdered in the Devil's Den on this day in 1879 by the Devil's Posse. He lies in rest at the cemetery in perdition. And uh, we pin up his wanted poster onto the cro the rudimentary cross we made temporarily headstone and cross out the murder that the DM wrote. We had a want. <laughs> so Timmons spends a hundred bucks here. You pay the preacher here at Grimm's place to do this, all this, and you go order the headstone. Okay. Well, he just bought the headstone and the pine box and... I'll put the note in there. The plot. And, uh, are we done here? We're done with this. It's nighttime. Were you guys going back to the Cliff Watch Hotel, or what are you doing? Yeah, Tim is just tired. He wants to take a bath. This is like got Jeb, he got Jeb juice all over yeah, him. Yeah, we he, all smell he, like Jeb. Yeah, yeah. It'll take a while to wash that funk out. Tim is like, Tim is like, yeah, I think we need to stop by the stove for us and... To, no, I see. I got to change the clothes. I, I'm just going to burn these. These... I mean, I'm a stinky fella, and these are reeking. Uh, so we just burn our clothes. I, Tim is just burns his clothes after he takes a bath. He just puts them in a sack and burns, burns them. You order some new ones. Have them sent to Cliff Watch. No, he has a and... spare set of clothes. Yeah, yeah, but he does need a, to back up his spare set. 
Oh, is he gonna put on his fancy clothes now? He, well, yeah, I he's think... got his he's got his nice suit on now. That's what his backup is. Well, I think uh, Luke would probably wash his clothes in the same bathtub that he's taking a bath in. So just bathe in your clothes. It's easier. Saves you a step. <laughs> yeah, but you got you that wouldn't help it that way. That wouldn't help yeah. him. <laughs> that wouldn't clean his clothes at all. They get in. The nose wrong with so that. in the morning, I guess we're we're gonna go see if Jeb dug himself up, and then we're gonna head out of town. We're going to follow the pinky. All right. Pinky in the brain. So let's. So what happened to my? What in the world? There we go. Six of diamonds. The night passes uneventfully. You guys wake up the next morning, and. The pinky isn't really moving. You pick it up, you look at it, it's just, and still, just like it was cut off of her finger, I mean, it's not rotting or anything. Uh, just like it's cut off of her hand, and you you hold it up, and you look at it, and you're like, you're wiggling it around, and you kind of hold it up like this, and it flicks you right in the end of the nose, Timmons. Boom! And then it starts quivering. Hey, uh -huh. Why? No, oh, I gotta think on where, where where we need to go. We we oh, need hurt. to find. I flicked myself in the end of the nose. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that makes your my, nose bleed. Uh, well, it made, made my nose tangle like I got a sneeze now. <laughs> anyway, we need to um, find uh, seas far ahead. Right. All right. So you get up the Cliff Watch Hotel. You pack your stuff up. Go out, get on your horses. Where do you get go? Get a you change do? of clothes. Do you ride know, down. Ride down. You're gonna buy some clothes. You're gonna do a little shopping for about an yeah. hour. All right. Uh, yeah, new, new, new traveling clothes. He doesn't want. I, I, I like my suit. I don't want to get it too messed up. So we'll you know. say that by 10 a.m., you've kind of bought your replacement clothes and your. You guys are all ready to ride out of town and follow this twitching finger to the, uh, kind of to the north. Like yeah. a north by northwest or something or another? Uh, we skip right over Labor Day. Well, let's see. I can actually do Labor this. Day doesn't exist yet. It done now. We just buried somebody. That was a lot of labor. We need to take that day off from now on out. WS6. Jeb Hexman Day turned into Labor Day. <laughs> Load plot point seven point oh. I thought Jeb Hexman was gonna get a couple of good shots off before he went down. Yeah, I know, right? I'm still assuming he's gonna come back for more still. I mean come uh, on, I didn't, this is a tough party to go against. He's 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 one harrowed against uh you know, and, and tell you the truth, I didn't just bring him out blasting and shooting either. You know. Mm -mm. He wasn't quite aware of what was I mean he just didn't think you guys the Manitou were... might show up and someone else would want revenge though. would have been that successful even though it seems like he knew you were coming he wasn't surprised you were there and uh, just in case I I did the thing I was oh, you Marvin then I guess we turn in our deputy badges right before we okay. leave town yep turn in your deputy badges uh, Doc Fong when you go shopping Timmins uh, Doc Fong takes off to go see his lover Delphine Ledoux. And, uh... Luke, you get no bounty for this kill, unfortunately. That's fine. <laughs> Actually, he, he did a good job, to... Luke. Here's what the town of Perdition paid us to collect Jib up, and I slide the dollar over to him. Here you go. Did you? Bounty. Too kind. Too kind. Would you care to join in on the Devil's Posse as an official member? You get a pocket watch. Yeah. Did you get the pocket watch from Jeb's body? It's probably the one he's given. Of course, yeah. <laughs> if not, you can have the stack of cards. It's a little, actually, it's a, it's a little Timmons goopy. took uh, the pocket watch off him after HG put a hole in his chest uh, last time. Oh, yeah, oh, he, he did. did. Yeah, that, he did. Is, is that why mine smells funny? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you got the one from uh from the 
from the Spanish fella. What was who was your character before? Oh, Miguel. The, yeah, That's why you it got smells Miguel. funny. It smells like yeah. it smells like church place. Who uh who took his what? Did you guys take his weapons? Yeah, yeah, I gave him the dock. I probably actually left him at the gave him to Alonzo when we stopped there. Turned in his belt and his badge and his weapons to Alonzo. Yeah, his belt and, his, and also then Alonzo can take the uh, the evil cards to get blessed by a priest or whatever. He would know who to talk to about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are ready to ride out. And you head which direction? Are we towards the pinky pointing? Uh, the pinky's kind of pointing up. No. Uh, yeah, I think last time you said kind of this direction or something. Or it's Ghost Town. Uh, yeah, outside of Ghost Town, really. Where's the uh, Perdition docks? Now, don't forget there's a rail line that runs through here now, too. There's a rail line that runs from here and then up uh -huh. here and kind of along the coast and right on up through, you know. And where is the the Perdition docks? Perdition built their docks north of Ghost Town. Okay. Like right there. So it could be with, with Little Beaver on our ship. Uh, Little Beaver gone. He took off a long time ago. You guys abandoned him. Well, I mean, we locked the door so he couldn't get out, right? <laughs> That's just no, cool you didn't unusual, lock the door Brad. so he couldn't get out. <laughs> I don't remember that ever being said. And Timmons would not have locked Little Beaver anywhere. In a room in the bottom of the ship with a giant robot. Guy. And Jay Rob, if you little... happen across this, they were locking you in the cabin of a tugboat. We we decided we didn't lock him in there. Doc wanted to lock him in there, but Timmons like he he got a hatchet. He just kind of chopped the dough down. Actually, I think the last time we were there, I was doing the acupuncture on that uh hel that. Hellman's mayonnaise guy. Remember, he had the. I was snout. resetting his ankles. Snout paste. Yes. Hellman snout paste. So you guys. That's ride. what gives it its zing. You ride. It has a bit uh, of mayonnaise. Hellman's mayonnaise. Hellman's mayo in it. That's what gives Sam it the zing. Hellman. Sam Hellman left. He's like, I'm getting out of here. I'm going back east. Yeah, but the last time we uh, we were in the ship was around the same time we were resetting his ankles. No. After we got him there? out of um, Grim Alcatraz. Grim's Alcatraz. No, we've been in that ship a while after that. No, not the not the extra one that we left in the Perdition docks. Remember, we stole one on the way down that first time. The tugboat. Uh, no, it was a. We also had a maze runner. The one we crashed into the. No, that was. Uh... That was the knife. Yeah, boat. we did. We did have a maze runner, didn't we? And we, I think we just left it as perdition dogs. We had a tug, but that we just borrowed that from. Uh... You left. You left the tug at the Lost Lost Angels docks. You left a maze runner at the perdition docks up here. So, be able to keep up with you. Yep, so you guys ride, and you keep... What are you doing, Timmons? You, like, laying this finger on your hand? You know, and just ride No, I mean, it, uh, I don't think it works that way. I mean, Timmons doesn't do that, because he doesn't think it works that way. He stops and gets off his horse and throws it on the ground, and then picks okay. it up and gets back on. He said, point that to Exxon. Toward that big heel over there. Yep. So... You're you're riding and it keeps pointing you north and then you get to a certain point and you get out and it turns around a point south. And as you look back south, you're like, what the hell? And you you see where this kind of small, uh, seldom used road. I say seldom used, maybe you know there's a farm up at the end of the road or something. Uh, kind of. Looks like, to, uh, looks like uh, we gotta go down to the driveway or whatever it is. So you ride back to that road 
and you throw the finger on the ground and sure enough the finger points up this road and you start riding up the road and the road kind of winds up this this hillside right and at the top of the hill you can see there's a there's a sign and then there's some trees and you really can't see beyond there but you do see a sign what does the sign say you can't it's a see it billboard you can ride up sign the says long-haired freaky people need not apply, not apply. Long -haired it's a capitone it's a capitone billboard see this but see the you know what oh you know that's that's worth that's worth a chip there for I well, thought you might get a kick out of the it. people on camera. That only really fits one person. Uh, you get up to the sign, and it basically says uh, Jehoshaphat Valley and Chapel. And you look, and as the road kind of crests the top of the hill, you can see what looks like maybe a chapel up there and maybe some gardens around it or something. Looks a little out of place for being out here in the desert. Would I be able to, would I know if this was a, a Chapel of Grimm's? Or would you need a common knowledge or something? Uh, I mean, it's, it's just a sign says Jehoshaphat, you know, Valley and Chapel. Oh, I was meaning the we... chapel. If I knew it belonged to Grimm and his uh, followers. You know, because you were... Yeah, you could give me a roll just to see because you know you were involved with the Grim. See, this is it. Yeah, you don't know. But I don't get a Did bonus because I was with him at one point. But no, but it might not belong to him either. This is true. Uh, I don't think it belongs to Grim. Why don't we Grim have him away out here? Yeah, maybe this is the place that Alonzo goes to. Yeah, maybe you it's a, a nudist colony. Oh, we take a <laughs> nudist colony? Is that where Alonzo hangs out? Jingo, if you happen <laughs> no, to no, see that, this. Green Alonzo... iguana. Oh, not green iguana, yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't see green iguana when uh, when you were back there in Perdition. And... That's because the hat ladies ran him out of town. I guarantee you that. Well, it's okay, are, Alonzo will deal with the women's league. Shanty town, so. Plus the, the hat ladies. They, they kind of mean. Uh, I feel the uh, Native American encampment probably would have moved when they started to uh, work on the uh, the hub or whatever, the train hub. I think so, that was uh, the train, wasn't it? Wait, Tim has said, can we ride up to the to the thing there? Is there some place that looks like there might be for horses? Uh, like to a chapel? Or yeah, or is it just um, a chapel building? Well, let's see. I, mean, I at least have a hitching post. Is there a scarecrow? At the very least, there's a hitching post nearby. And there's no, like, weird cultists or anything, or is there? Maybe they eat horses and they don't have a hitching post, because when you need one, it's always well, they eat. need it so that it was, when it was, you know, waiting its turn to go to the butcher. That's pretty cool. He is a hitching post. Well, if you don't, then it will run away because it does not want to be eaten. Oh, they know they're going to get eaten. I hear they go around saying, you look delicious. And horses, of course, are well known to speak English. So no, only Mr. Ed. Should we wait till Saturday morning at 8 o'clock and knock on the door? Huh? Are we the Jehovah Witnesses? <laughs> So I'd like to talk to you about the Watchtower Society. Yeah. Are these uh, statues here? Statues, yeah, statues. You kind of look down through there and you can see some, uh, what looks like a graveyard. There's some, uh, you know. Some Is that a front porch? More expensive looking sarcophagus, sarcophagi down there. Uh, yeah, there's a door underneath that front porch. That's the overhang. Is this built in any right, particular so style we can identify? Tie his horse up over here at his tree. Yeah, it's a very southwestern adobe dirt. You know, it looks like it's made out of, much like, uh, well, you were never there, Doc, but uh, 
the mission de los whatever it was de los where you guys met up with father miguel something like de la soul or something wasn't it uh it was uh mission of the lost de los. souls uh, i can't remember i'd have to go look i don't can't remember the translation now so you guys uh look around and yeah you can see that it's kind of a like gardens down there uh when you get there doc i'm looking at the statue well when you get there you look over here on this hill and it looks like a military uh embattlement there are a couple of gatling guns set up up here and about six people and they seem to be watching you from this hillside i and wave hello and as you turn and look this way you can see the same thing kind of you know as is uh actually no you can't you wave hello and they just wave back at you timmons no they don't they wouldn't wave at you no they look more military more militaristic what? than anything what's what timmons what's going on over here no. Well, hold on. Let me tie out of my horse. Yeah, Jeb is doing the same. Not Jeb. Luke. Oh, no. Jeb's back. That was just a slip of the tongue. So Timmons ties up his horse and then walks over next to where Doc is at. What do you point at? Oh, look at all those people up there with the Gatling guns. I was looking to What's see. Up? And Gorgio, do you want me to call you on VC? Uh, I'm already. You're already, you're already. Yeah, we don't want to see that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, now, just, somebody asked me something. I'm ready, though. What did you guys? No, Timmons is Timmons is after he ties his horse up. He walks over to where Doc Fong's at, and Doc Fong points up to the, or maybe does a point. I don't know. He's certainly looking up there, like, what's going on? Hang on. Why and, I identify uh, the uniforms? Uh, give me just a second here. I gotta find something. Tim is like, that's kind of odd, huh? That's that's a little fancy for. One in perdition doesn't have guns like that. Hey, Drake, your uh, background uh, reverted or something. Yeah, something went weird. There oh. it goes. Uh, I'm looking for my information here. I didn't put it in there. Uh, there we go. Maybe? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, I'm not lost after all. Uh, you guys get there. I gotta find out what this... Uh... Um, I'm having... Rick's having issues, I think. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, let's give him just a moment here. I'm sure if he's frozen or just really good at sitting still. Both? That's the problem. <laughs> Is he frozen up there? I think he is. Well, that sounds like a good time for a bio for me. We'll take a quick five minutes. Let's do that.
thing went. So I'm going to leave X put off. We're back. I brought us back a little early. Five minute turned into three minute. Yeah, actually, I didn't start the timer in time, so. Oh, uh, let's see here. So you see this guy comes out. And he says, gentlemen, welcome, welcome. How can I help you? Where does he come out from? He's like standing over here. A chap. I'll come up here so I can see him. Uh, oh, look at some. Give me a common knowledge roll, Luke. seen this guy before oh yeah mm -hmm. what's he look like Luke you have a weird expression on your face I know him where do I know him from gentlemen welcome to the Jehoshaphat Chapel, how can I help you? Oh, hello. Yes, a, a figure told us we should come here. I'll nudge uh, so Doc did. in the, the <laughs> I'll nudge Doc in the in the ribs. Oh, I, I, not a finger. A foreigner said that. Yes, it was Alonzo. He said we should go to that chapel. Please. Well, please come in. We welcome all who come. He opens the door and he invites you guys in. Oh, we oh. Th that pretty nasty you. So where do I know him from? You're not sure. Or, but he looks familiar. Yeah. Well, Tumish goes in. He's like, didn't I play the guy He Do we have to take a boot off or? It is, it is, it is, it's okay we come in with our boots on, because Timmons looks, and don't look like I stepped in no manure lately. But you did put on your backup clothes earlier, after all. You sure you're not wearing the, the clown shoes again, Timmons? No, the clown shoes are kind of awkward. I like to wear them when I'm swimming, mostly. What he said. I thought he said, fuck that. <laughs> That's what it sounded to me. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> dump, dump, dump. That's why I said. Definitely That's tell, why I said it. Tell, tell Wicked's been teaching him to talk. Mama Wicked might have words to say about that. Uh, so, yeah, he invites you guys into the chapel. Timmons goes in. Fuck Fong follows him in. Luke will follow. You, have you seen any uh, Indian fellas around here lately? Good thing you're not asking about horse thieves again. Why, the horse thieves here? No, they were beating not. horse thieves. They had all those guns up there. They would chase off the horse thieves. Oh, by the we way, Mark, know. did I recognize the uniforms uh, the, the military guys were wearing? I'm not sure who's moving here and who's what and... Yeah, I think I messed it up when I moved tokens to the other map. Yeah, any what? Military? What? Did no, I was asking from there? what... I was asking what uh, uniforms the military guys were wearing. Um, They've got, like, blue trousers on with black stripes down the legs and these, like, burgundy wine-colored, like, blood-red crimson shirts 
gold sash red around. Red coats? Gold sash around. The, no, not red coats, but I mean, it definitely looks military or something. It was a looks, joke. Yeah. Are they something we've ever seen anyone wearing before? Mm, probably not. Have you been here before? No, but I don't know how. No. Who they are, or where they might be at. So it ain't the union or the. They could have a, an office in Janfin. I don't know. So, uh, is that a dead body over there? Uh, there does happen to be a body in it. Yes, this, I mean, that's our purpose. We serve our purpose here. We, we inter those who, you know, of less fortunate means. Would you like to make a donation? There are, there are <laughs> hundreds dying each day of starvation out here. And Yes, what's with that? Why are so we many will people... Toss them. Sorry. It's only a sign of the times, I'm sure. So you, you set up this this capital to bury people? Is that what you do? Seldom do they have loved ones left, or they've come out from the east. We usually don't Luke have. We'll uh, donate here. two silver. Okay. Hey, Doc Fong will do that too. He's not sure how much you're supposed to give to one of these guys, so he'll follow what Luke does. Uh, Albert will say, I apologize, I'm, um, I'm broke. So, uh, um, I saw how many people were in your Do the, do the bodies get back up or something? Because you got, like, some machine gun nests up on top of the hill up there. I just wondering, you know, if you're just burying people, why you need, you know, Gatling guns and some machine guns and... And military men. Uh, he says... No, no, he says they're, they're a... They're a, a honor guard. I mean, it's the least our order can do. An honor guard with gallon gun? That, that, the usually they got some ceremonial rifles or something, but. Hi, kitty, 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 kitty. Hey, Doc Fong. I got to keep her from chewing on the wires. Well, why did you coat them with snout paste? Well, you know, cats, particularly kittens, and wires. And particularly kittens. Biden love snout paste. Kitten? All new kitten. Oh, I'm trying to say. Style snout paste. Get a squirt gun. After a while, you won't even have to fill it with water. You just pick it up. Or you fill it with snout paste. It doesn't squirt Plus so it's... easy. It's like... Hey, you, need, you need to really work on your finger muscles first. They say water Unless, it's one... it. Unless it's one of those cats that doesn't mind water. Oh, um, yeah. The rest of you guys follow them in there? Or what? Oh. Are you staying yeah. outside? Susie G and Albert. Albert goes in. Albert goes in. Well, I'm sure Albert just wants to sample the, sacra uh, <laughs> the Albert, sacramental yeah. wine. Yeah, you actually haven't seen Albert drink it all today. You know, we really Are you don't. Sick, Albert? Uh -oh. We really don't <laughs> see too many celestials here. Is he, is he in morning? <laughs> yeah, he looks at Doc Fong and Susie G. Oh, why not? No. Yes. I'm trying to teach the kitten not to attack my hand. Ha have why you seen you any in 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 Indians around here? We're looking for an Indian, too. We've buried all kinds here, but I'm, I'm sorry. You're, you're looking for who? Um, what's his name? Uh, born in a bowl. No, uh, no, that's right. far ahead. No, that's far right. Ahead. You're right. Certainly one of them. He's a, he's of the Indian nation, uh, what tribe was he from? I forgot. He was from that group of uh, Indians. I hey, don't remember what they were called. 
Uh, well, he was less with the Necessity Alliance. That's it. I realize that's the village church bell I keep hearing ringing, but it sounds like the, the doorbell on my front door. I'm like, why does my front door keep opening? I heard that bell earlier, too, and I'm like, what the? Do I have an alarm going off? What the hell? So he walks up, and he Gross. stands and he stands next to the the casket up here, and he says, he says, yes, we're mostly just for indigents, but he turns and he looks at you guys, and he says, the Indians, they tend to bury their own elsewhere. What's oh, well, right. He might What's not be dead, Indian's so... What's this Indian's name? Uh, he's far ahead. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think we determined it was born in a bowl. No, born in the bowl is where we got the uh, pinky oh, from. Oh, tell me that I did it born in the bowl of pinky. He throws it on the ground. Does it point? <laughs> yep. You throw it on the ground where? Up here? Uh, right, 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 right there on the ground next to him. Between the pews. Between okay. the pews? Yeah, it's point. Yeah, I mean, direction. he doesn't want to make it, like, obvious to the guy. He's throwing a pinky on the ground. He just kind of drops it on the ground in front of him and looks around. See if it points. Yeah, points that point, way. Point. It flops. It, it kind of lands one direction, then it flips over and points that way. Of its own accord. Its own animation. So... Seemingly, like, down the path that the Gatling guns were. Above? Mm -hmm. um, Seemingly, maybe. I mean, we are looking for an Indian, right? That is what we're looking for, correct? Well, it said it will take us to where we need to go. And we need well, to I talk mean... to him, so... Presumably, I don't remember yes. that particular plot point from six months ago, or whatever it was. I remember the pinky was pointing our direction towards... I think it's where we had to... It was far it away. Would, it would help you find C's far ahead, C's far away. C's far ahead, C's far away. Whatever. That's all she told you. Right. And Tim and like... And she said, find him and bring him, or he can help you, or bring him to her. It'll help you find him either way, basically, is what she said, dead or alive. So, uh, is there a graveyard uh, out that way? And Timmons points, you know, that way after he picks up his pinky, or her pinky. He says, yes, that's where that's where the uh, the cemetery is. I'm sorry, it's cl it's closed though to the public. Most just pay their respects here at the temple or at the chapel. Well. Perhaps a, a a donation would allow us to to uh, to to move Sizable. around the graveyard. Sizable um, donation, Timmons. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, cause Luke is paying this time. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I ain't rich. So the rich people get wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Is that what it is? Exactly. <laughs> This is bullshit trickle down economy. I tell you what. <laughs> Father Ambrose says, "Alas, I'm I'm sorry. It's just it's not permitted." Uh, he said, "But any oh. any donations to the chapel, or I mean, imagine the expense. We're we're burying hundreds a week." How come uh, no, no one is permitted? Is it because of the men with the guns? These are. Yeah, the strange times, and there are those the, who would the, come in and defile those who are just trying to rest in peace. Well, as far as I know, that's not our intention, right, guys? Yeah, that's not our intention at all, there, fella. Yeah. Let me uh, let me Timmons put some money over here in this in this tad box. Clink, 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 clink. I think you can allow an exception just for today. It's a it's a it's a, it's a respect your Ooh. dead people holiday. I see a card. You know, I'm awfully just... sorry. I really am. 
It's just not permitted. By who? Yes, who's in charge here? Is that you yeah. or is there... The honor a... guard up there going to stop us? Is that, is have... that who's not putting in it? This Do you have one of those guys with the funny hats? This must be awfully important. Who did you say you were looking for again? <laughs> His far ahead. Is Seesaw, Seesaw Head. head. Mm -hmm. And he was an Indian. He, he I, know, from... I know of one that was in this area a year ago or so. He preached some doomsday something or another nonsense. Oh, maybe that's him. That sounds about right. Like, you know, grim... Grim. Oh, you did, kitten. Grim. Wow, well, you know how Grim preaches doomsday and stuff, too. Uh, give me a smarts roll, Luke. Timmons? Oh, Luke. Get knocked off my power supply on the windowsill. All right, give you... Smarts. Smarts, smarts you said? Okay. Continue, Tim. Yeah, like you know how Grim like preaches the, uh, you know his is all his stuff. You talking that kind of preaching or different kind? He said, "Well, there you know are... who Grim is, right?" I'm I'm aware of who Grim is. Are you a friend of his? I would say that Brother Grimm is a friend to, to many, and I count myself blessed to be among them. So uh, the fellas up on the, up the, honor, the honor guard up there on the hill, are they friends of his too? Gentlemen, this suddenly seems like you're interested in more than an Indian. Well, the Indian, you, you got to admit, the Indians are why we in, are the predicament we in, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Blame the Indians again, Tammins. I don't understand. Filthy cocksuckers. Anybody who would be down there in our cemetery is dead. And we, sure? have, we have no Indians living in the cemetery. We, we weren't asking for any individual that was living. He could be dead. Make it easy well, to find him if he's dead now, wouldn't it? Well, if I had to wager a guess, and I'm kind of like pulling the, the group aside and talking softly. If I had to, to wager a guess, the people that die here are the ones that are being served uh, as dinner in uh, Los Angeles or Los Angeles. Can you see outside uh, which window? This window? Well, either window, yeah. I was also looking at the one, that was the direction of the graveyard, right? To the northwest. You see a couple of people kind of moving their way around. Kind of walking past the window. Oh. I'm gonna meander over this way casually. And I believe that is going to be... I'm casually walking over here and... Being uh, all nice and to do to do. Talk out another joker. Well, I do draw three cards around. This, oh, do you really? Wow, no wonder. I've got improved level added. So, Doc, you walk over here. Everybody, uh, you know those uh, red robed guys that work for Grimm? I believe I saw some outside. Oh, maybe they here to help us. Didn't they uh, try to kill us while we were on that island? Uh, in in town, and uh, you know, pretty places, much yes. any time we ran into them, yeah. But they could be an exception. You never know. Well, I mean, that is possible. All yeah, right, that's, that's probably about the end of your six seconds of conversation oh, no. there. Any, no. Anything else, Doc? I was going to go and hold. Okay.
What the hell did uh oh. oh Let me look at this encounter again, I gotta find see. Uh Are these windows opened or closed? No. The windows? Uh they're all closed. Again, like it we is, can't see uh, out of them closed. It's just that we can't. They're they're you know they're closed as far as vision. I don't know if they're covered or anything. It is September, so they're probably open. Southern <sighs> California, September. These windows are probably open. Yes, yeah, for some reason the 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 angel tokens we can see Marbania. I don't, I don't understand. These Do guys? you not have line of sight or something? Yeah. That's weird. Is this because they're neutral? I don't know. Are they actually tokens or? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, I mean, I there's know. not a wall there? <laughs> well, no, he's got the light shining out the window, so he's got line of sight on. Yeah. I opened all the windows. We can see. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, but I did my turn, so I'm a little worried. Okay, uh, I don't know where the hell this person. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Never mind. Look, with uh, I have seen the uh, the angels walking around to the outside. Mm. That Doc Fong just said something about those angels and. Haven't we had a bad time with them before? You know what? Okay. You know what these guys are. If you look out the window, I wouldn't even make you make a notice roll if you just turned and looked out the window. Yeah, walk up there yeah. and yeah, you you get about right there and uh, you know you can see this guy kind of moving past you and he's all in he's a long red robe. Draw my my pistol. And, uh, you know, knowing who they are, I don't like them. No, sir, I don't like them. Uh, any sort of cover? For these guys? Well, you yeah. got, you got to get over to the window first. And shooting through that window and out at them? Yeah, I'm going to give them uh, probably... Just two. And I don't want to put it on... Movement. I don't want to put it on them. I just want you to put a minus two in your... Yeah. I'm going to move up a little bit closer to the window, like you said. Make sure I get a good view of them. You walk over here and you pull your gun. Oh. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. It's still set as on. dark. It's still set as uh, pitch black. Yeah, that, that should have totally been a four. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Uh, global Correct. effects. There we go. All right. You want me to just re-roll that, or actually should have been a six? It should have been a four. No, it had a minus, minus six two on it, cover. and it resulted in zero. Your minus two is counteracted by oh, the trigger. Oh, right, well, right, right, right. So right. I would either way, it's a hit. That's a hit. Yep. Uh, if you want to just change the attack to four to six or so. There you go. That's a hit. Ugh. That, that Luke, are you shooting beanbags again? I think I got some sand in my pistol. Hey, shooting blanks. <laughs> I got right. a snake in my boot. You see Father Darren Ambrose. He says, what's the meaning of this? And he reaches over. He walks over here. And reaches up against this wall. And he picks up a shovel. And he takes a walk over here. He says, Mister, put away your guns. We got beef with those outside. Stay out of this, Father, or Priest, or whatever you go by.
too late. He swings the shovel at you and just, it kind of misses. He's like, you're going to have to stop that. Cream is bad, okay? Okay. Can you dig what he just did there? Grim brings the gospel to <laughs> tens of thousands. Oh, he well, Tim's serves gonna people move to people. Over here and uh, and give him a, uh, a butt to the head with his shotgun. <laughs> butt him in the head. Okay. Yeah. Non-lethal. We'll call it non-lethal. Yeah, he's, he's trying, trying to anyway. knock him out. You know. Yeah, he's trying to knock him out. Uh, I think, um, Savage Worlds actually has rules for that. It's like a uh, athletics or something, isn't it? Uh, yeah, because you can fail your is... yeah, you can fail your non-lethal and kill somebody. So hit. Mm -hmm. Tim is like, now, nah, now nah, you shouldn't be swinging that silver round to my friend there. No, I thought that's he hits eight him wounds. in the head. Yeah, eight wounds. He's like, bop! And then his head exploded. And then and then he's going to back up uh, with his extraction. Damn. Um, Damn. Oh, no. A hell like of a that. vigor. I don't like this D12 vigor thing. He's like, this hell is a little tougher than he looks. As Timmons like, now swivels his shotgun up towards him. Like, and see, you know, he was like, you know, bop, and then he backs up, and he's like, uh-oh. He kind of points it at him. I'd like to interrupt at the end of Timmons' turn. Okay. All right, Pat. Oh, sorry. Before it's in, it's in Juicy's turn. There you go, Doc Fong. Well, I saw that he just bashed his just guy in the head. don't and... pass your turn when you're done. Okay. I saw that he just got bashed in the head and didn't blink. Well, I guess I can't tell he didn't blink, but he didn't seem to respond at all. So I'm going to come down here with Albert and Sweezy here. And I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> Run away. No, I'm going to sprinkle some uh, some of my special poison retreat. into uh, onto Albert's gun, Sweezy's uh, arm stabby things, and my own gun and try to use the smite power here. Seems pretty low for the plus two, but yeah, you didn't get your raise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Benny it so I can get a raise, hopefully, or you know, kill all my friends. All right, mm. well, it doesn't seem to want to do it. Do you have any conviction? Yeah, but I'm, I'm good for now. I think that still does, does extra damage. And I've seen Sweezy chainsaw mm. mode. We got to do that on my peacemaker, and uh, that will be my turn. Sweezy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go on hold for the moment. Let go. Okay. Let go. Mother oh, fuck me. Yeah. So, I don't think Grim approves of that. This guy steps up to the window. And he pulls out a Colt. Pow! Shoots through the window. Nothing happens. And uh, he is going to walk away. Are you going to try to reach him with? A, you don't have a melee weapon in hand, do you? you Negative. Know, pistol whip him. Yeah, but that requires turning the gun around. Well, can't you whack him in the back, in the top of the head with the butt? Like, I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, I don't think he's going to do much damage, but. You could teach him a lesson. 
This door opens and a guy walks around. Looks right at you, Luke. Brings up his Is that an open? I'm pretty sure that's a wall there. Huh? That's no, not that a looks wall. like a, a door. It wasn't set. I didn't see it set as a door, though. Hmm. It looked like a wall to me. Up there. Where? There? It's a see door. where the green arrow is pointing if you yep. can't see it? That's a door. There's a wall because there's a staircase there, but at the north wall, there's yes. a door. But I, see, I don't see, I see door. this is the door. I see it's this door. door, but there's not a door on this. If you move the token a little bit, you can probably see that that's a wall. I think he just came out of the door where the green arrow is pointing. Yes, he did, but there's a wall directly to the south, I think. I can't there's, quite tell because no, there's, the there's a there's a at least four feet up there. I can see that there's room. Yes, yeah, don't switch it to party view. Mm. Yes, I, I see this door. I see this door. Yeah, and he but, just came out. But of there's, there's a, but there's a. That's not a wall. Looks like there's, there's a, a wall door. right. No, there is there is a passageway that went from here and around. Yeah, it's it's open right there. This guy it's moves like right right like tips. And for whatever reason, I'm having that same issue where this guy I can't move him, you know, and track him with alt. So, I don't know. Anyway, he comes at you with a club. Well, change him to hostile and see what happens. Uh, he's, yeah, I don't, we don't see anyone by Dennis. The guy who, wait. Oh, that guy. There he oh, is. Okay, so he was here. Yeah, because that guy was invisible until a second ago. There we go. Now I can move him. Perfect, that's yeah. what's going on. Uh, All right. He targets you, Timmons, and oh, swings you didn't a club have... at you. He's like, Which hey, he look out you. there, fella. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We here for looking in the graveyard. We, you gonna get shot in the face with this shotgun, that fella. This is uh, Grimm's people. Just so you know, Vino, I do have total intention of shooting this guy in the face. I'm just role playing. Oh, I know, but Luke, <laughs> hearing you say that, <laughs> <laughs> this guy comes swinging his club at you. <laughs> hey, oh, wait, what? what? Get, get, get off of me! You ganging up on me? Albert, I got a double bear. Seems like there's people pouring in this place. Uh, he's gonna shoot Guardian Angel Thirty Two. Hopefully, because he's sober. So, oh, there we go. Holy wow, your, shit! Your dice are loud. No, he <laughs> dropped something. Uh, let's, let's do that. Uh, five wounds. That's enough. Uh, at who? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Evil cocksucker. <laughs> Leave my smelly friend alone, asshole. Murder in the house of the Lord! You shut up, too. Sweezy, are you going to change some of them? Yep, I'm going to go off hold now. Um, I'm going to head outside and cut those ones off. I hear that you're no. more effective than a... Um, that one guy brand chainsaw. What is that guy? All right, Sweezy goes off hold. Hellstrom. It is not letting me actually open the door. It's you're not. cutting the corner. Yeah, you're cutting the corner. Remember? Oh, that's right. Although when I click it, it doesn't actually seem to change anything. Okay, because it's you're just on not top of it. Oh, okay, there we go. It's open now. Okay, that's actually three, four. Is that the edge of the map? Uh-uh. Okay, because it's just like... Uh, what? what square is this guy actually in? Uh, like let's put him in a square. In, like, 
Yeah, non-existent squares here. Because it looks like it's just really dark outside, actually. Yeah, I'm just seeing blackness outside. I think he's got... Uh... Lighting turned off or something outside. You, you can... got ambient lighting on. What time of day is? Can you see him, Sweezy? I can see the guys, but I can't see any environment. Terrain like or anything. It's really, it's so it looks dark. like. Do you have an ambient light off or set as dark? Because it was daytime, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't see the side of it. That's what we see. Yeah, I can see it on the DM DM map on uh, the stream. Just, How do you turn an ambient light on? Uh, go lighting. to lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, go to the uh, control. A... Shit. Oh, yeah, it's there we a button go. on the lighting. Then change on our end. You might have to turn on. Nope. There, there it is. goes. Whoa. That's bright. Bright light. Bright light. There you go. Holly learns something new every day. Now things, you know, look a bit better. And yeah, now I can actually see that that <laughs> is not a wall there. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, Sweezy's just Hellstrom chainsaw. Okay, so yeah, you rip into this guy. Lay him low. <laughs> so after those two are down, I should take note of them. All right, you lay those two out. I'll peek around the corner here. Make sure there's no other guys out here. Nope. You see none. Scott? And that eight will get me back to the door. All right. Oh, wait. It put it back to my turn, and then when I passed, it went back to them. Yeah, whenever you interrupt, don't... Uh... No, uh, don't yeah, pass my turn. Yeah, don't okay. pass your turn, and I'll just move it back to, because it's Albert's. Albert killed him. Man. I already killed that. Hey, he put his, he pointed his gun at his head and pulled the trigger. Yeah, it was okay. the end of the round. First, first snap face. Doc Fong with an ace, jokers and aces, man. That improved level headed is really nice. I'm right, well, just gonna go on hold. Uh, you forgot to apply the shaken to Luke, apparently. Shows it shaken on your token. Yeah, he just that applied does. it. I'm oh. going to come over here and I'm actually going to be between the pews. Pew, pew. You're going to squeeze between the back wall and okay. I actually meant between the two pews here. Like uh, I'm going to, you know, walk the left or, you know, side to side walk between them. Right. Uh, and then I'm going to shoot at this guy because he just tried to club my friend Timmons. And that is rude. And when you shoot him, he makes a really weird sound. No, I think that was the smite. Uh, uh, that would make sense, actually. All right, so uh, this guy is, hasn't really. I don't know what's up with this guy, so basically, I'm not gonna shoot him, but I'm gonna point my cold dragoon at Father Ambrose. Tim. 
Timothy, I, I warned you, 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 you ain't drive your shovel yet. These two guys are laying on the ground, right? <clears throat> yep. Uh, so Timmons is gonna try to sh shoot the shovel out of his hand. Can I? Can I do that? That's a All called shot. shot. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Minus minus four. two. No, minus four. Is it two or four? To shoot something out of his hand is gonna be minus four. Yeah, four for a All hand, right, so two for an arm. I got a I got a plus two to shooting for a shotgun, so I just take a minus two. There you go. And roll to hit. Timmy's like. That's a miss. I'm going to re roll that. Let me reapply the minus two. I'm going to try to binny it. You know, you can drag the binny to the actual roll and it'll do the re roll automatically. You may still oh, have to. Oh, let put me do that. The... Let me do that then. Yeah, you might still have to put in the modifier though. Yeah. <laughs> he shoots the wall over on the side. <laughs> And uh, that's all he's going to do. Uh, I think he's going to, like, hop over the pew and, like, get between them, like, over here. Like... You got a Benny Bax for some reason? I thought you said that's what you were going to try to do, is drag it onto his. Oh. I was kidding because yeah, you... I missed. I rolled oh. a zero. I was kidding. Here, I'll drop the Benny, though, just there so I spent it. Okay. And uh, down arrow. Albert. Uh, can Albert see the guy who shot Luke? I don't think so. Uh, put, you know, target him. Let's see. Uh, uh, no, I don't think so, huh? No. All right. Well, so Albert's, uh, he's, he's in a bad mood. Uh, one of his buddies just got killed. Um, and he's done with this asshole, so he's just going to shoot him. Well, that's not at all a bad sign or anything. Not at not all a bad sign. Um, foul murder. He seems kind of slow if he doesn't have a a pace according to that. Actually, <laughs> no, there I I just forgot about something. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to do this. Do either of you have weapons other than pistols? Melee weapon? No. Melee weapons. Docker Albert in your hand? No, I've just got a melee weapon pointing at him. Uh, he you mean a ranged the, weapon? He gets the door. That's what I said. If you heard otherwise, it was it was you and not me. No, you, you totally said melee. He comes face to face with Sweezy G. He's trying to run past Albert. And trying to get past Sweezy G. Shit. That's what you say when you run into Sweezy G. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, shit. You know, and here, I, this is the only door I've, exter, uh, exterior door I've put in the place. <laughs> yeah. Can't go crooked through the door. Yeah. Can't go crooked through <laughs> Yeah. Lucky, you wicked. Uh, he attacks you with his gravedigger's shovel. And, uh. Oh, he done fucked up. <laughs> and misses. Bonk. Look. Uh, I'll go ahead and take. I think I have counter strike. Right? Yeah, do you have counter attack? Yeah, I do. I'm just gonna let him do that. I'm just gonna quick. wave. 
Oh, Tim has just got that too. I keep forgetting he's got a. Well, doesn't someone have first strike or was that HG? That was HG. Timus has Iron Parry, uh, which HG actually didn't have it. I just bought it several times. Oh, I just remember right. the one fight you just uh, had them all run yeah, up to you. Well, I, I, like, saw, boom, I saw, boom, 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 boom. I saw, I saw all the characters there and how fast I could move into the middle of them, and I had the card that gave me an edge. I just, so I just like, oh, okay, improve first strike. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty much perfect there. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I said, wait, you said we had to do athletics in order to not kill them? Do non lethal? Oh, no, I was thinking that the Savage Worlds, uh, uh there's rules about it, but how you're gonna try to like knock him out or whatever. Yeah, I mean, are you are you punching him or did you just hit him with your no, you hit him with your brass claw bracers? So, I mean, you're tearing into him with bladed weapons. I don't know that there's <laughs> well, I, just solid round. Oh, it says you declare beforehand and you get minus one attack if you have an edged weapon. Well, okay, he's going to hit anyway. So I don't have gotten a 14. Okay. Well, it was only hit, a with hit, with raise, raise. hit with a raise. Yeah, I'm going to whirl around and clothesline him with the solid metal inside of my forearm. Gotcha. Ow. Drop him to the ground. And was there incapacity as a result they're unconscious for 1d6 hours? So this guy seems pretty vigorous. Though you just oh, that's in the four head wounds. Gun. You knock a dude out, man. And For how long? One d six hours. See, he's vulnerable, distracted, stunned. What is he? All of the above? He's basically just knocked out. Isn't there an unconscious? I thought there was, but I looked for it. I did a search. There is not. Nope. Doesn't matter. I'll, uh... Well, we can do this. Or maybe it won't let me. Yeah, he crumples to the ground, <laughs> drops his shovel. You guys lay the holy man out. There is a slumber effect under the slumber power, but it won't let me add it. Yeah, well, we know he's knocked out and not dead. Yep. Matter of fact, All I right. could do this. I like the idea that Sweezy's just like this and he just runs right into him. I like it. There. He's got a. Uh, he's got <laughs> Knock the fuck out. Yeah, he's got an effect on him now. He's Damn gonna have one hell of a headache when he wakes up. These smokehouse almonds are addictive. All right, so Jeb oh, yeah, having those are good. Not have you had the wasabi ones? Mm-hmm. Got a bag of them in there I too. Luke. I've done it again. Uh, Luke turns towards the guy that just shot him and fires back. That's a hit. With a raise. Why did the rooster just go off? It's the small town. Small ambience. town ambience. Yeah. Wow. What? Jesus fucking Christ. Wow. And you, you hear Father Darren uh, that's, Ambrose that's what I'm doing. as he's falling to the ground say, don't blaspheme in here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, that, that one deserves a Jesus titty fucking Christ. To hell? You blaspheme and it summoned that horse. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, nice. And uh, he fires at you again. <laughs> totally missing. Uh, you should check if it was a critical failure because that could have been more fun. I should roll a d6 to see if it's crit fail. Mm -hmm. The first one, the Colt Navy. Yeah, we ain't gonna mess with it. One. I was, yeah, if a mook uh, rolls a one, you're supposed to roll a d6, and if it's also a one, it's a crit fail. There you go. Oh, I was hoping he broke his gun, and then you can go grab his broken gun and beat him to death with it. All right. Sweezy G. You just heard somebody so shoot. I will run. Don't you cut any fucking corners. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Ten. Eleven. Ooh. Just barely. <laughs> Don't hit your knee on the wall there. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> well, I went ahead and bennied that because I felt bad about missing. It's unusual for you to miss, that's all. <laughs> Just explode or die, that'll work. You, oh, you did roll damage. Oh, damn it. That's, yeah, that's my fault. Don't oh, blaspheme! There, there's your hit. Why did you apply them and apply it? Because it, no. What? Eh, he's dead anyway. You applied it before he actually rolled the right thing. He didn't mean to roll damage. Uh, oh, instead, yeah, so like I only would have done one wound instead of four. All right, I hit him for nine damage. Doesn't most of his, most of his chest is intact still. Doesn't matter, he's a mook. And you guys are officially out of combat. What are you doing well, with the uh, preacher knocked out? Let's get him over up. here onto the uh, the pew. Let's give him a golden shower. You. <laughs> I guess it doesn't um, really matter. You guys have a week to think about it because we'll be back next Thursday. Well, I'm going to try well, to put him on the... Oh, no, my muscles. You, you just pulled your back out again. Oh, my back! My back! Oh, I'm going to well, sit down. I, I was wanting we, to wake him up so I could play this adventure card. Can I use uh, acupuncture on you? I, I don't want to stick you with the needles. Uh, uh, We'll work on it. <laughs> Yeah, Luke is. So if you want to wait one beans. die four hours, he finally wakes up. Well, we have time what to look around doing? while I lay down here and my back feels better. So you guys are going to kind of hang out here for four hours? You leaving the bodies yeah. outside? The building, find as much info as we can. Yeah, yeah we're going to want to hide them. Yeah, we probably should drag them inside here. Yeah, and I'm going to go lay on this pew because I just hurt my back trying to move him. And uh, Timmons is going to go over and, uh, and and watch out this window over here. Okay. So, um, as you're watching out the window, Timmons, during this four-hour period of time, there are two different times where you notice a cart comes down the road and goes down into the cemetery. That lie. And he then, lied to us. And, you know, there's a tarp laying over the cart, and then when it comes back out, whatever was under the cart's been emptied. And Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Well, this one's not dead. Well, he's almost dead. No, oh, not, not, no quite. not, not quite. I'm... Starts clubbing him. No, I'm not. <laughs> you, quiet, you. Yes, you are. Um... 
So I fast forwarded it. It's 2 p.m. on uh, the 2nd of September. And I will unlock the tokens. You guys drag the bodies inside. Pile them kind of over here. Uh, and clear target. Get rid of pink line here. I don't know whose pink line is. One of my pet peeves is people leaving pointers Albert. on the map. It could also be Luke. They both have kind of a salmony pinkish color. Salmony pinkish. Sorry. Salmony pink. That's Jiminy Crickets. So Salmony pink. No, mine's orange at the moment, so that's not mine. And you know what? That that just okay. absolutely has to stop with that fucking bell. Yeah, there you go. So, that's it for us for tonight. Um, until we come back I did play that next card. week. Uh, tomorrow night, are you doing Empire of the Ghouls or Chult, Drake? Empire of the Ghouls. All right, Empire of the Ghouls. Matt Curie's DMing. You can catch that on Drake's channel. Right there is where you can get in touch with him. Everything from his uh, YouTube, which he's like me, trying to get more followers on YouTube. Please hit the subscribe button so that we can get rid of our ugly URL. And there is mine. Um, we'll be back Saturday night uh, for Rob Tui's, uh second, be the second stream, uh, session two of uh, Lost Mine of Fan Delver. And Drake is DMing that. So join us then. Is there anybody out there we need to raid? Yes? No? Um, spin. Quests and cliffhangers or spin? Got to be spin, man. Always got to be spin. I don't... Yeah, I got to love spin. Got to love old spin. Uh, so let me cue that up. And you did notice that I played uh, Spill the Beans, right? There we go. He's We're not talking about Spencer Timothy 77. Colin. Uh, I figured you were playing Spill the Beans. That's why you wanted to talk to the guy. So I'll right. save all that. We'll take... Uh, Just wanted to make sure you had it take in your notes note. and whatnot. We're going to make a yeah, mental note of it. You make a mental note of it. And we're going to raise. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, bye. Everybody. bye I don't everybody. make mental notes. I just rewatched right. the stream. That's why I stream. Nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody yeah, got no time that. for that. Was it? You did your echo? Yeah, I'm Where? gonna do my echo. Uh, the same place I, I did it last time. Go get food. Okay. okay. As a bonus action. Yeah. Yeah. the same mic here. out. But I am gonna use my Unleash Hammer. Incarnation this time. What the uh, dog doing? What attack. the dog doing? He's going to attack Swollen Tooth. So let's see if I can hit him. Yeah, it, it seems like there's something way up with the microphone. Just got, just got raided by Drake. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Um, Drake. Ugh. That's what we did. I was, I was trying to find the, the code last one. Uh, appreciate you. Oh, and the biddies, Drake. You're awesome. Um, there we go. Give a little applause for the Drake. For the biddies. Guys, see you later. See ya. Appreciate you, appreciate you. A, a bit is an old woman. Ooh.